here we are back in Berwick upon Tweed, um, mudlarking on the beautiful River Tweed on a lovely, lovely winter day. Beautiful, yeah. And this mudlark, we are actually not alone because we are with the lovely and mysterious Tom Burley, who is a fellow mudlarker um, from Yorkshire area and um, he has a YouTube channel also and we'll be putting that address yes, more about that at the end of the video, the end of the yeah, video. Yeah. and uh, you'll have to go and watch his videos because they're absolutely lovely wonderful yeah yeah definitely so let's get to it and we'll see you on the first find let's go Okay, so our first find today, you can only just see it poking out there, but it looks to me like a piece of clay pipe. And indeed it is. A tiny little shard of clay pipe. It's very thin, isn't it? No writing on it. No, nothing on it. I found that upstairs. Oh. Strange. Bit of crease pot. I don't think that's very old. We found a spoon! <laughs> there we go the first spoon of the day and it looks like it's in good condition so I think we'll keep that to make our tea with in the future so I found another bit of clay pipe but it's in you can just about see it there in the water and I've got my gloves on so I'm gonna have to take them off and be brave and put them in that cold water okay here we go does it have anything on it it's quite a long bit by our standards oh I think it does oh it does have something oh, on yes, it oh yes it does oh is it the same as what we found last time yeah let me wipe it on my trousers Oh, water's cold. <laughs> it says, I think it says tenant, yeah. Tenant. Tenant, tenant Berwick. Berwick. Oh, so that must have been made just, just over, over the here. other side of the river. To... No, this side of the this river. This side of the river. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. A pipe house. The old factory that burnt down. That's cool. Oh, is that something? It's a bit of oh copper or something. Brass. Oh yeah, it's like some kind of fitting of something. Perhaps it's the end of a umbrella. Oh, the end of an umbrella. Yeah, oh. that could be it. And we found something interesting down here as well. We look like we've got ourselves a bottle stopper, a vulcanite bottle stopper. I'll give it a wash. It's oh got, look, it has an A on it. it. A for Alex. A for Alex. <laughs> oh, I've never found one like that before. No. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, it's like a stylized A. That's cool. Now, I think you can just about see a few bits of pottery there. And there's one here. And next to it here, I see a very distinctive shape. And yeah, that's another bit of clay pipe. But I think it's far too rocky and, and pebbly around here for any of them to survive to be full, unfortunately. Oh, I think I found a hagstone. A river hagstone. Yeah, I think it's stone. Pretty sure it's rock. Feels like sandstone. Ah, that's special. Special river hagstone. And we've got another bit, um, a lip of a 17th, 18th century bottle. And we find quite a lot of these in the past, haven't we? Yeah. Loads and loads of them, but they're really interesting. And we, I love the, the unique, like, wobbly shape of it. They're beautiful. Absolutely Handmade. Beautiful. 
I'm starting to finish. I'll clean up now. All right, just a second spotted something else. And it looks like another coin look. But I bet you anything that that is just a 2p that's just really, really corroded. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just 2p. Oh well. I think we found a fossil here. It looks like um, maybe it's some kind of crinoid fossil. It doesn't feel heavy enough to be metal, so I'm not sure. It'd be really cool if it was a fossil. And you've got some things here. More little bits of clay pipe. And, and a nice lovely bit of cobalt blue glass. So there are and you can them. see um, we also have matching gloves today, guys. Yes. <laughs> your hand's coming from the yeah. <laughs> Nice thermal gloves. So down here I found three little things. Um, this little beautiful little nodule of agate. It's a beautiful little pink colour. And just next to it is this lovely little tiny shard of blue and white which is really nice and vibrant. And just next to that this absolutely amazing piece of glass. And it seems to have broken, there's a little shard broken in this square shape almost perfectly, which is really beautiful. And it's kind of a sunrise sort of pattern. And that little piece there will be absolutely perfect for making some jewellery out of. So you never know, we might do something with those pieces. Just a little way from me up here, I found another really pretty piece of pattern glass. It kind of has a little diamond shape on it. See more perfect little pieces for jewellery so we'll definitely be keeping these. I've been scraping around a little bit actually and I found a few things. I think there might be just a little a corner of a little shell on there, a little fossilised shell on that bit of chert or something. Just about to see it there. And then just next to it is this heel of a pipe and then literally just next to that up here there's a really pointy pipe heel there you can see it's got a really prominent little um heel just just there so that's interesting that two heels in a fossil are next to each other this way walk this way talk this way So, Mum's found this really awesome piece of pipe and it says, we've, we've wiped uh, some of the mud off it and it says Tenant and Son and we flip it over and on the back it says Berwick, Berwick <laughs> <laughs> basically, it says Berwick and it has kind of like a, a dot pattern either side of Berwick just there and it's Berwick and we're in Berwick, ta-da, there you go, that'll clean it very nicely. Here we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a lens off someone's glasses. The glasses have obviously broken in such a way that it's just left the lens with the bezel around the edge. Well, that's a strange find. I found this boot here, which is actually quite modern. But I thought it was quite ironic that it says up there, waterproof. <laughs> and it couldn't be any wetter. So I stumbled upon this um, strange shaped object here and you can see it's kind of flat on the top and it's kind of been sort of cut on the edges or, or the, it looks as though it's been cut but um, if I flip it over to see what it's made of um, I thought it might be concrete but if you kind of look up close it kind of looks natural like natural work stone so this could potentially be quite an old piece of work sandstone maybe on the top of a wall or something might be a little bit heavy to take 
but it's really interesting. So there's quite a few bits of iron down here. I'm pretty much directly under the new-ish concrete road bridge and there are lots of bits of iron that have collected under here and this one I thought like looked quite funny <laughs> hmm kind of reminds me of something I don't know <laughs> anyway <laughs> I think I'll leave that I'm back on the little stretch of beach mum's just way in the distance up there um that has pottery on her because we think there was an old victorian dump around here and just here i found this bit of glass and i thought at first i thought it could be a, a bit of a syringe but i can't see a hole in the bottom of there but it is a tiny little glass vial kind of thing so who knows and there is right next to it Nice little bit of blue and white. Well, that um, that glass tube's quite interesting. I'll have to have a closer look at that later. And there's another coin, <sighs> but it's a twenty p. Yeah, look, just a regular twenty pence piece. I'd love, absolutely love, to find something old, at least Victorian. <laughs> I just found the teeniest, tiniest little hagstone. Look how tiny it is. That would be perfect on like a little chain or something. Oh, so mum's found half a bead here. We're not very lucky with beads. Look at this beautiful little feather. Look at it. Isn't that the prettiest little thing? I think I'll keep that. Maybe I'll put it in my hat. <laughs> so mum's put together the most beautiful collection of pattern glass she's been collecting down here. Look how pretty that has words on it. What's that say? Oh, Pepsi. <laughs> Bit of an old Pepsi bottle. That says brewery. Look, why are there so many? Oh yeah, brewery. And that's a poison bottle, isn't it? bit of a poison bottle and it looks like cut glass doesn't it some of these pieces like I wonder why there's so many pat so much patterned glass here I don't know there doesn't seem to be anywhere else just no on this just spot. on this spot there's loads of patterned glass look how beautiful it is I have a feeling this is UV glass because I think we found a piece at home no we didn't find a piece at home but we found yeah. a piece and brought it home and yeah. shone, shone a light on it and it glowed so Beautiful. <coughs> and just behind mum, I spotted this. Oh, wow. That's really beautiful. It's like red and orange. Look. Look at this piece. Oh, we've got a little hagstone. Oh, it's got two little eyes. Yeah. Oh, we've got to name him. <coughs> or her. What's she called? Is that its mouth there? Oh yeah, it's got two little teeth. What should we call her? Uh, Gladys. Gladys. <laughs> Gladys. Look, I'll zoom in closer to her. There we go. Gladys the Hagstone. There's a bit with words on. And a bit of glass with words on. It says... I have no idea what that's, <laughs> that would have said. And some more pattern glass. It just seems to be everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah. I can see a bit of clay pipe in the water down there, but it's too deep, so I'm going to leave that. There's actually, I can see lots of bits of um, pottery down here, but the tide hasn't gone out quite enough for us to get to them, so we're going to stick to the foreshore that's exposed. Oh, actually, there's a bit of pipe here. Looks like the heel of a pipe. Yeah, little heel, little pipe heel. What have you got? Oh, that's pretty. I love the little copper nails. I found oh. a pipe peel as well. There you go. Wow. We're getting closer to finding yeah, a bowl. Yeah, we're getting closer, <laughs> closer by the day, guys. Yeah. I spotted a jar down here and I'm not sure if it's whole or whether it's got anything embossed on it, but let's have a look. 
Oh. Oh, that was quite a satisfying sound. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it is whole. Yeah. It, it doesn't look like it has anything on it. It's quite an interesting yeah, jar. Kind of hole yeah. I think that's probably the first um, whole bottle or jar we've ever oh, found down here, to be honest. Mum's just spotted the tiniest little bead down here. Look at that. Oh, I think it's like, I think it might just be half a bead. Or maybe it was meant to be flat. Or maybe it's meant to be flat. It's been in the so long. Oh, it could be really old, you never know. Here we go. Tom Birdie has very kindly gifted me this beautiful seagull skull for my skull collection. I Means I know skulls aren't all of your cups of tea, but I absolutely love skulls. I think they're beautiful sculptural things. So that's very kind of him. And I will cherish that. So I've come a little bit off the foreshore. There are some, uh, there's a bouquet of flowers there. And um, mum and Tom are just heading under the bridge right now but I have found here a, um, a slipware and it looks like a lid but it is the biggest I'll have to zoom out it's the biggest lid I have ever seen looks like it would have had a really big handle there look at the size of it it's huge I've never seen something so big wow wow look at this beautiful bauble so, um, Tom has been really lucky today and found two of these really beautiful glass baubles. And he has really kindly gifted Mum and I one of them. And he reckons they are from the 1960s. If only we find it a few weeks earlier. <laughs> but that's so beautiful and very kind of him. Just found here, this really is quite an ornate piece of iron, of cast iron. And I'm thinking perhaps it's off the top of a iron gate or some kind of iron fencing or something. Some fancy iron fencing. It's obviously been um, part of some ornate object. Tom suggested it could be off a an old sewing machine, so let us know what you think that that could possibly be off down in the comments. So down here, we're just below the bridge and um, we're finding quite a few bits of slag glass. So there's a little tiny shard there and a little tiny shard there and we're pretty sure this is the byproduct of iron making. So there must have been some kind of maybe a small iron foundry around here so just by my feet there as well. That one's interesting, it's got little ripples in it. Also down here, the base of a quite an old looking bottle, I think. And lots and lots of shards of pottery, but I think most of them are just blank. So what do you think? What do you think it is? I don't know, I think it's some sort of ventilation brick, but it's yeah. quite um, finely made. Mm. Well maybe we should keep it to uh, do a little bit further in yeah. research on rather. So, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I think I've said it before, but one of my favourite finds. And it's a marble! And it's a lovely little orange and yellow marble. I really love finding marbles. So pretty! I just found 
a bit of what I think is a cod bottle down here and we can see written on it Barrick on Tweed and it's got some kind of depiction on there but I can't make out what it is so that would have been absolutely amazing if it was whole I would absolutely love to find a whole cod bottle down here but we can dream I suppose I think I found the top here just the top sadly it looks like of a tiny little stoneware maybe a pork pie ink pot or something similar that's a shame there are other bits of things down here as well if I get up close there's a tiny shard of of clay pipe and of course your obligatory blue and white pottery but if only the tide would go out a little further you can kind of see things down here little shards of pottery sticking out but perhaps they'll be revealed to us another time wine glass and beer glass just so happen to land right here on the foreshore together that's an odd coincidence So everyone, on the way home we decided to take a different route than usual and we've actually stumbled upon someone's bottle dump. Now mum's just been filling the bag with a few bottles but look at them all lying on the ground here as well. We can hardly see but I'm hoping you can see better on the camera. That says A.B. Marshall London, a little medicine bottle. Look at all the marmalade jars and... Look, there's a little egg cup. Oh, it's broken. And sauce bottles. Wow. And... Oh look, there's a cod bottle, it's broken. Wow. Oh my god, everyone. Look, someone's been digging over there as well. Oh look, there's clay pipes. Do they have anything on them? I don't know, it's too dark. Oh, it's too dark. Oh, <laughs> here. We get home. We'll have to put them, we're going to collect them up in a bag in our in our treasure hunting bag. We've actually been metal detecting today. But didn't find anything. But didn't find anything. But um, we actually, we were walking along and we saw bits of broken pottery lying on the path. And we decided to come down into the woods and found this. Look at this. Oh my god, oh, look, look, it says not to be taken, it's green. Oh, the top snapped off. I'll take it anyway, we'll take it anyway. Look, there are bottles down here. That's an old wine bottle. It's broken. It's almost pitch dark and we, I can't see a thing right now. What's that say? Patterson Camp Coffee, ah. Oh with chicory. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna put that in the bag as well. And that little bottle there. Oh, look, it's a little pig. Oh my, oh my. I am so excited, guys. I'm so excited. This is so cool. It's another cod bottle, it's full of water. It doesn't look like there's been anyone here for a while. Oh look, there's an elephant on there. Oh, put it in the bag. I'll put that in the bag. Oh, very carefully. 
Okay, so here are the bottles and jars we found, well, stumbled upon, again, which is, was quite miraculous on our way back to the car. So we decided to take a bit of a detour and go metal detecting and um, we noticed some bits of pottery shards and we followed the trail and before you know it mum was calling me because she'd found a bottle dump. So isn't that amazing? So it looked like someone had been digging there and these are the bits and bobs they'd left behind so they, they obviously saw no value in these bits but there are some interesting broken bits. Um, this is a huge poison bottle, huge green poison bottle that says um, on there not to be taken, but unfortunately the top snapped off and that's, that's why they've left it. But I might be able to do something with that. I could repurpose it up for something. Um, this, there was lots of bits of broken cod bottles as well. This one actually still has the marble in there. You can see it jiggling around. Um, we have some s bottles that are in boss and these are sauces. This is says this says Dr. Lance's cream sauce. That's quite interesting. Bloom through work leaves. Um, and a bottle that says Camp Coffee and Chicory Glasgow. And some beautiful oh and some beautiful cod bottles this is broken but I have found a um, in another dump actually found a broken cod bottle that looked just like this as well from Berwick so that's very really cool and loads of marmalade jars full marmalade jars some different designs those ones have got quite um, the ribs are quite close together and there's some where that has no ribs on at all and this one here, the ribs are quite far apart. So that's quite interesting. Now there are loads to talk about here. Lots of snap top bottles or sheared top bottles as well. I love this little bottle here. It's some kind of medicine bottle. It says A.B. Marshall, London. It has a big crack in it, unfortunately, but we'll definitely have to look those up. And some clay pipes that may or may not be local, but we'll have to do some more research on those. So, um, we don't have time to clean them up right now, but in another video, we will be cleaning these up and showing you them and maybe doing a little bit of history on some of the bottles that do have embossing on them. And um, we may go back in the daylight <laughs> this time so we can see and see if there is anything else lying around on the surface and we're not going to dig because we do not have permission to dig down there so we thought we'd go back and have a look on the surface and see if um, whoever was digging there left anything else behind that we might be interested in so uh, i was absolutely just so excited to find that and um how unexpected this piece is so cool, this cod bottle. It has what looks like an elephant on there. Bit of a strange looking elephant, but still. That's really cool, I'd love to have had that hole. to our mud locking finds and we've washed them all up and it always takes a long time to wash up um, the things we find at Berwick because they have a lot of green slime all over them which um, takes a lot of scrubbing but here we are with everything cleaned up and we have a lot of glass this week um, a lot of patterned glass actually you can see some really beautiful pieces here 
and some perfect pieces for jewellery and um, all kinds of craft. So mum, mum um, was particularly interested in the, um, the pattern glass this week. I found a beautiful little marble, of course. I love marbles. And a vulcanite bottle stopper. Found one of those and it has A for Alex on it. I think it has some numbers underneath. I think three or eight, three, nine or something like that. Can't quite make it out. We got three little hagstones there. Three little lucky hagstones, including that tiny, tiny little baby one as well. These stones here are agates, so if I zoom in, they're a beautiful pink agate. Really, really pretty. We did get some coins, however they are all modern. There's a 20p, a 1p and a 2p, and the copper is actually flaking off. So it just goes to show how poorly made modern coins are nowadays. Um, we got some a few bits of toys, so a little toy car and it looks like a tail off a little aeroplane or something. Um, a clamp, which I thought I might clean up, it might come in handy for jewellery making. Um, Mum found two little beads. Now I love beads, but we don't find them very often. And um, strangely, they're two halves, so she's found half of a blue bead, it's like halved vertically, and then half of a little green ble bleed, a little green bead that's halved, halved horizontally. It's a bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, and it's sitting on top of a, um, a brick, which we think is some kind of ventilation brick, um, which mum found she thought was quite interesting. We find these um, pretty much every trip to Berwick actually, and they are very old, bits of very old bottles. So these are 17th or 18th century bottle necks and lips and um, we have loads of them now and um, we just love them because look it's all wibbly and wobbly handmade um what else do we have here of course pipes yes of course pipes so we collected lots of little shards of pipe and a little pipe bowl which i think had some kind of like it was like the bowl was like held by a claw kind of thing um and a few of them have tenon on just so just get bit closer there yeah tenant barrack and the other the one below it this one has tenant and son and then on the back it has oh barrack barrack with like little dots either side we are going to elaborate more on the tenants in another video um so watch out for that because um we did a little research on some of these pipes and found a very rich history and a lot of in really interesting information that I think you guys might be quite interested in. So yeah, we found lots of bits of pipe with lots of history. And pottery, of course, always, there's always pottery. Um, random metal bits. So I think this is some kind of bra brass picture hook, picture holder or something. Copper boat nails and other brass and copper fittings, the end of a an umbrella maybe, the end of a brolly, an old brolly, something like that. Um, the lens of someone's glasses, I'm sure someone wasn't very happy about losing them. Um, Mum found this sort of hollowed out piece of wood and I think it might be natural but you never know, it could be a um, piece of medieval drain pipe or something. Um, and yeah, that's it for the things that we found. Um, oh. Uh, yes, a few bits of slag glass as well. This is the byproduct of iron making. So there must be an iron making going on down by the river as well. But anyway, that's enough for our finds. Um, a few of Tom's finds that he very, very kindly gifted us. Um, starting with this bauble. It's absolutely a beautiful handmade blown glass bauble. And he found two of these. You'll have to check out his video to see um, what he found, because he did find some qu some quite some interesting things on his trip too. So it's just another reason to go and give him a follow, a subscribe rather. Um, but yes, he very kindly gifted us this bauble, and next year we are hoping to restore this and hang it on our Christmas tree, and it will forever remind us of our little mudlarking trip with Tom. He also very kindly gifted me this piece of skull. Now, I think this is a seagull. 
and I love skulls, I have a collection of them, um, but I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, you might be looking at this going ew, but I think skulls are beautiful and sculptural, really beautiful. So I think that is pretty much it, we didn't find anything incredible but we had an incredible time um, and made some new friends as well. One last thing actually before we go, I want to point out this strange little metal object here. Now we may have mentioned um, just in that little clip you saw of us finding the bottle dump that we'd been metal detecting. So we thought we would go and do a spot of metal detecting and we found mostly rubbish, it was getting dark and um, we pulled out this. And this is actually a fired musket ball and we've never found one of these before. Never, I've never found a musket ball and certainly not a fired one, I think a fired one makes them much cooler because, well, they've been fired out of a gun. So um, that was a very interesting find and if you're, you are our Patreon, then I am going to put up the um, the clip of us doing that metal detecting and actually finding that little musket ball. So stay tuned for that as well, if you are one of our patrons. Okay. Hello. Hello. So here we are back home again after another adventure on the river. This time we weren't alone. We were with Mr. Tom, Tom Burley. Yeah. And you'll have to go and check out yes. his channel because it's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, you have to. We're, we're saying you've got to go and check out now because it's really good. It's down below in the description. Um, yeah, so you have to go and see his channel. He, and he gifted us. He gifted us this amazing And we can't wait. We can't Christmas wait bubble. to put it on our Christmas tree next year. And we're year. going to try and oh, put so a lovely. new attachment on it. So, lovely. so thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom, thank you very much. This. We really enjoyed our outing. Um, and yeah, we had a lovely day in general. And yes. it finished off by With an amazing discovery. Other <laughs> discovery. Which, like, once again, we have I know, it's crazy. stumbled across Another a bottle, bottle dump. We, just, we, we seem to just like happen upon them. It's like we're, we've got yeah. a special gift for it. <laughs> Follow us around and you'll find all the bottle dumps. <laughs> anyway, we'd love to thank our Patreons again whose names are on the screen yeah. now. And all of our wonderful subscribers. And just all of our viewers. Everyone who bought uh, things from our shop. And, and everyone who comments. And helped to support us. Yeah. Because we couldn't do it without you, no. so thank you. So thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. The shrews, <laughs> they're here to tell you to subscribe to Tom Burley, aren't you guys? Look, that's like, please subscribe to Tom Burley. Isn't that right? Yeah.